Okay, so this time I'll show you a small other type of sketch which is uh, programmed inside the RK2. Um, this time I wanted to make a uh, Euclidean generator. You might have seen my promotion girls yesterday and then maybe it's time to show you a little bit uh, what they were exactly doing. Um, this is a very short version of the RK2, uh, just for testing purposes. Um, it's running the Euclidean drum generator software and I've mapped these um, sliders to the controllers it wants to receive. Uh, by default it's 1 to 8, uh, but you can map them. And I have also made these uh, keys here and mapped them to the drum keys of the Volca beats. Not really my favorite pads, but I will show you why I did that. Um, anyway, here's the um, tempo. It can slave to a uh, master tempo, so I'll just start it and you'll see the empty pattern on the Volca beats is running. And now I'll just uh, pull up the bass. Moving the slider up increases the intensity of the kick. Same goes for the snare. Tons. And well, hi hats, open hi hat, clap. Uh, what is it? Wood block, something. Okay, so um, I can make a pattern here. Remove the tons. Really, um, yeah, what can I say? It's sort of automatic pattern, drum pattern generator. It's kind of fun. Um, uh, I've also made something else inside because uh, when you have a pattern like this, which you think, which you think, well, this is cool. Let's see. Let's make something. something like this. And you just want to um, clear the kick out for some build up or something. You can just press it. And it will mute when you press it again. It will again appear in the sequence. Uh, when a slider is set to zero, <coughs> like this, these mute buttons aren't mute unmute anymore. You can just press them to trigger them. So, but once a pattern is set via the generator, it will be a mute unmute button. Well, um, yeah, that's another little sketch we made on the RK2. Um, again, these sketches are all downloadable from our exchange portal. Um, well, check it out. Bye-bye.